Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue the introduction to Excel 2016 by talking about entering information into cells. As we've talked about, we're in an Excel workbook. The Excel workbook consists of sheets, and each sheet consists of columns and rows, and those columns and rows contains cells. And the information that you want to enter goes into those cells. So there are a couple of different types of information. So let me show you some of those. Uh, here's a rather important thing to know, uh, that you can customize the width of these columns to your own liking. You can do that either by dragging like this. You see, I can move the mouse until it's in the border between a column, and then just drag and drop like that. Same thing goes with the columns, by the way. You can also just double click on the borders and that will auto size depending on the contents of the cells. But now I was going to talk about entering information here. Uh, let me just enter a month name here and you'll notice that these things end up to the left in the cell. That makes sense, right? But if I enter a number, you'll notice that this number is actually right aligned and that's a very important distinction but because in Excel you can have three types of main information it's either text as we see here or it's numbers which you can count with so if you do the same we can just type February here and now if I do a calculation on this I'm gonna go through calculations a bit more if I try to do an auto sum and summarize these of course, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I get a zero. I can't summarize text. But if I do an auto sum there, I can auto sum numbers. That works just perfectly. So we're going to talk a lot more about this counting stuff and how that's being done. But first of all, I want you to really grasp this concept of what kind of information is being entered into the cells. Either it's text, and that's usually left aligned and numbers which are right aligned. Very, very common mistake is if you say they want to have 500 kilos here, and you'll notice that that is actually left aligned. So now if I do 600 kilos there, the math won't work for that either. Even if I do that and summarize those, I'll still get a zero. So you see Excel doesn't know that these things are numbers. So if you want to have kilos, then you put them in the next row. So like that. And now you see the math starts working there. So we're going to show you a neater way of doing that later, but that's the principle. And that's what I want you to grasp from this lecture, that cells can have either text, which are usually left aligned, numbers, which are usually right aligned, and formulas, which we'll talk a lot more about which always start with the equals sign. So three types of information in cells, it's texts, it's numbers, and it's formulas. Thank you for watching this demonstration.